Hey guys, Corey here with Slash Gear, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Barnes & Noble Nook HD tablet. This is the 7 inch version with a 1440x900 HD display. And uh, we'll really quickly uh, unbox it here and give you a tour. Let's go ahead and unbox this uh, Nook here and uh, show you the contents. As usual here we have the uh, well, the start guides, charger, power cord, and the uh, 30 pin adapter for charging and syncing. So go ahead and set that aside to show you the actual hardware. And uh, here it is, the Nook HD. And this is a 7 inch display, main competitor here being the Kindle Fire HD and the Nexus 7. But uh, this has a 1440 by 900 HD display, highest resolution display on any 7 inch tablet or e-reader. And that's also very thin, very sleek, and uh, very lightweight. It's only 130 grams, which makes it lighter and thinner than the Kindle Fire, but not quite as light as the Nexus 7. We have a uh, nice soft coat on the back here and the SRS stereo speakers. But I'll just give you a virtual little tour of the hardware. Under the hood, we got a 1.3 gigahertz dual-core Texas Instruments processor and 1 gig of RAM comes with 8 gigabytes of internal storage or 16 that is 199 and 229 for the pricing and uh, up top here 3.5 headphone jack as we wrap around at the power, bu power button and that 30 pin adapter on the bottom for charging and syncing and SD storage another difference here with the Nexus 7 no storage options and Kindle, Kindle Fire but we do have it here with the Barnes & Noble Nook. And then the volume rockers here. And then as you can see here with the hardware, it's all soft coat. And they have a nice bezel. It's pretty thin. The bezel on a lot of tablets have been pretty large as of late. But this is actually a really nice, easy holding experience, which makes it very nice to hold when you're actually reading the device instead of having to deal with a large bezel. But overall, the hardware is really nice. It's very lightweight, as we said before. It just has a great feel to it, and then the, the usual dedicated button here. But uh, we'll get into the software here in a minute. So this is just a quick look at the hardware on the Nook HD. Go ahead and boot this up here and get it started. And uh, as you know, the Nook HD is running on Android, which is Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich here, but you'd never know it. It's got a completely custom skin with uh, Nook here and Barnes & Noble, just like uh, most e-readers like the Kindle Fire, but I get this started up here and show you the software. Dual core processor to keep it pretty speedy, definitely an upgrade from the uh, Nook tablet before in terms of a uh, raw hardware processor. And here it is, it's finally booted up and right out the gate here you have the start screen here, it says welcome back, date and time as usual, and as you can see here, right on the start screen is multiple logins, user accounts for you know multiple users in the family. Um, similar thing has recently been announced by Google with Android 4.2, but here with the Nook HD um, also already available. Go ahead and sign it in for a you know, coffee table, living room, a family tablet um, for each individual. So go ahead and unlock into one here, and you can see it changes to my account that I've just logged into. So uh, as you can see here, it's got a very similar, very streamlined user interface over Android to basically you know deliver the content here we have a couple of apps a couple of comic books and magazines but uh, right at the back here going to the uh, shop you have three million you know books magazines comic books movies um, all with uh, you know the Nook app shop here as well as games and apps so uh, you come through and they have their top hundred and plenty of stuff here and then you go into apps for different games Go ahead and scroll through a few. Obviously, we don't have any Android market support here, but they do have a, a growing app store. I'll go ahead and go back here with the home button or the Nook button to start screen here. And in your library is where everything's detailed and laid out between your magazines, movies, apps, and everything is expandable to make it simple. Come down here to apps. And then you have your full outlook of all your apps in a neat, easy to see outline there. Going to a couple ma magazines here. We have a car and driver. You 
you can actually get a full outline of view so you can easily find the page you'd like out of the entire magazine. And another new thing here with the Nook HD is scrapbooking. So when you're in a magazine or a book, you can go ahead and tap the scrapbook button. Go ahead and save that, name it, title it, and script save clips from any magazine for a scrapbook. And there it is, complete, and it's now saved. Go back in there. As you can see, it's smooth and, and quick. A little lag here occasionally, but we're scrolling through pages and pages of a magazine here. And we do have the pinch to zoom. And then regarding those multiple login accounts here, go back into the lock screen and go into someone else and you'll notice it instantly changes for you. Good for family, kids, you have a movie here that's downloading, you have your US Weekly for the wife. One thing though with the user interface that I wasn't the biggest fan of when you're flipping through the screens, if you actually flip through on one of the icons instead of a blank space it moves it which makes it kind of difficult to flip through the screens if you're trying to flip and you hit a, an icon instead. But other than that everything as you can see quick and smooth and seamless for the most part it's definitely a consumption delivery device here with everything front and centered and very streamlined. Go to the browser for a minute. Another thing we wanted to mention here regarding you know, books and magazines is a couple of the uh, new features here. When you're reading a magazine here, obviously in portrait mode, you have a half of a page, you know, and you got to do a lot of the uh, pinch to zoom to get all the content you'd like. But once you rotate into landscape mode, you get both pages as a regular magazine would would be laid out in a much you know much easier to read user interface here, which definitely helps. And then another thing while we're talking about magazines is the article view. Go ahead and tap that and it strips out everything and gives you a much more streamlined reading experience and cuts out a lot of that stuff that's unnecessary for you to just simply read the magazine and everything.